before we get into today's video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon so that you'll be notified when we upload. I got this carbon steel wok at Costco this weekend. Um, I'm really excited. I almost exclusively cook on stainless steel in the videos because I have an indu induction cooker and um, my stainless steel pans work well with the induction cooker. Cast iron will also work with the induction cooker. This <clears throat> carbon steel will not work with the induction cooker. So I have a little gas top that I'm gonna cook with today. So carbon steel is essentially cast iron, but it's lighter, um, it's thinner, and I'm really excited to try using it. I've heard a lot of great things um, from a lot of seasoned chefs who really prefer carbon steel pans. Um, and I'm very excited to have a wok. So I'm gonna make some teriyaki chicken for lunch today. So uh, come along and cook lunch, cook lunch with me. So for today's video, I'm not really gonna be sharing this recipe, although I will give you kind of a rough overview of what I did. So I um, heated up some oil in my wok and now I am searing this chicken. I just got the chicken that was cut up already from the grocery store and then I seasoned it with a little salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Nothing too fancy. Um, and I just kind of stirred that around until it was cooked. Uh, this pan was really great, nothing stuck to it, um, and I used it again this is like the next day <laughs> that I'm recording this voiceover, but I have used it one more time since I made some Brussels sprouts in it and um, it did great. Um, so I really, I still really like it. Um, so yeah, I just, you know, I'm sauteing this chicken. It's, this recipe is nothing special. Although if you do want to see like a teriyaki chicken type recipe, let me know and we will make the video. So I removed the chicken and now I'm adding a little bit of garlic. I'm going to make my teriyaki sauce. And so teriyaki sauce is basically just, um, you know, some garlic, some soy sauce, some rice wine vinegar, um, some brown sugar, uh, and I add a couple other things to mine, um, aside from the basic ingredients. I like to add a little bit of fish sauce. Um, I like to add some like garlic powder and onion powder. If you have Chinese five spice, that would be really good. Um, some mirin would be good in this. The secret ingredient. This is my favorite thing. Okay, so we have a favorite Chinese restaurant and they have the best chili oil and we asked if we could buy chili oil from them. So that's what that was. That was <laughs> chili oil from the restaurant, our favorite Chinese restaurant in Winston. <laughs> Um, and it, we put it on everything. It's delicious. So now I'm, now that I got my sauce made, I'm just putting my chicken back in. Uh, you just want to let this reduce until it gets kind of syrupy, but that's it. So I forgot to, um, record some thoughts after I finished, um, making that video. I got so excited to eat my lunch that I, I forgot about that I was, you know, reviewing a pan. Um, so a couple things. One, um, I really enjoyed cooking with gas. First of all, I think that makes, to me and my cooking, that makes the biggest difference. Um, it, I find it really, I find it really hard to um, get a good temperature when I use electric or even when I use the induction cooker. Um, so cooking with the gas cooktop was nice. Um, but two, I really, really loved that pan. It was awesome. Nothing stuck to it. Um, which is kind of true for me with cast iron too. I find that things don't really stick um, to cast iron uh, very much, especially if when you're cooking meats and things, if you get things to a hot enough temperature, um, it doesn't, usually it won't stick. Um, and same, same with stainless steel pans, like things don't really stick for me. That's not a huge issue, but I thought, you know, since it's like brand new out of the box, I just gave it a quick wash. Um, I was worried that things might stick. Um, nothing stuck. Uh, it was excellent, it cooked well, it held heat really well. Um, it also was really responsive to when I like had to change the temperature and things like that. It cooled off um, in what I felt like was a reasonable amount of time. The other thing that I really enjoyed was, uh, so I really like cooking with cast iron. I grew up on cast iron pans, that's what my mom cooks with. Um, 
but I, I don't know if uh, a lot of people who watch this YouTube channel will know or not, but um, I'm actually not a cook. <laughs> I'm not like a trained chef. I, you know, we're making packet videos on here. I don't know if you've noticed, but um, uh, I have two degrees in music. I'm a musician and my hands are sometimes kind of wonky uh, from years and years of practice. And um, so sometimes holding heavy cast iron pans is difficult for me. Um, and sometimes like I just can't, like I have no strength in my wrists. And I really liked that carbon steel because it's lighter um, it's about the same weight as my stainless steel pans, which are not that heavy. So it's lighter weight, um, but it cooks like cast iron. Um, it kind of cooks like somewhere between uh, my stainless steel and my cast iron pans. Um, and that was really, really great for me. I really enjoyed that. So if you have a similar issue where sometimes your wrists are kind of weak and you can't care, like pick up and move a cast iron pan, carbon steel might be something for you to look into. Um, but it was a really great pan, especially for, you know, about $30. Um, I think that was really good considering that my all clad pans and my big made in pan um, were a hundred plus. And my, t my all clad pans, um, a couple of them I got as a gift for a birthday. And then some of them I bought, all clad has like a scratch and dent sale that they do like twice a year and I got access to that sale. And so I got them on sale. They're still insanely expensive. Um, so for $30 at Costco for a pan that works really, really well, I mean, I think that's a great deal. Um, so if you have a Costco membership or if you know somebody who does and you go to your Costco and you find this pan, I highly recommend getting it. Um, it was awesome. And be sure to let me know if you guys want to see more reviews like this. Um, I would love to talk more about cookware <laughs> or tools or things like that that um, I frequently use and that kind of thing. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.